and welcome to another episode of the uses of sustainable fertilizer. My name is Mutuma and today I'm going to show you how to ferment your biofertilizer. The reason for this is that it will help you uh, create your own biopesticide that you can use on your crops. It will help you reduce the cost that you could have spent on buying chemical pesticide. And another benefit is that it will help you uh, increase uh, your chance of having an organically produced uh, crop. So what I will need is a sack, a container, uh, a container with another container with biofertilizer and water. So what I will do is I will I will add five liters of biofertilizer in the sack like this. The main reason for that is that it will help separate the solids from the liquid. So what I will do with the water is that I will I will uh, set the sack aside like that and add in 10 liters of water. So the main reason for this is that I will need one part of of, of fertilizer which is 5 liters and two parts of water which is 10 liters. So you can try it in any way. Even you can try with uh, 10 liters of fertilizer and 20 liters of water depending on the size and the quantity you want to produce and you leave it for two weeks agitated like this daily and you set it aside for two weeks and after that you will be able to have your own biopesticide other things that you can add in the in the container or in the sack rather the sack with biofertilizer you can add kidonia just uh, crush them like this then you put them inside you do that when you're beginning to start your fermentation. So, after that, you, you can add other things like uh, chili, garlic, uh, Mexican marigold, and yeah, which are very essential for, um, for your pesticide creation. And then finally, uh, you leave it for two weeks, two weeks, that is 14 days. You check up you check up on it so that at least by by that time you will be able to produce enough biofertilizer or rather biopesticide. So have a try and let us know how it works for you. Thank you.